Hey guys, welcome back. And today, um, yes, I'm outside in the park. I'm just trying not to show people. So, yeah. And um, all I'm gonna talk about is relationships. And don't start this, or don't ever start relationships until you're. I'm not talking about friend relationships. I'm talking about relationships. Relationships. So yeah. Don't start them until you at least get to high school or until you actually get to know the person because that was my problem and it still is. And yeah, um, all I can say is that I'm going to be talking about my life in relationships and not friends, but actual relationships. And Some names, I'm actually going to be saying their real names, some names, but just two of them, maybe more. No, just two of them, I'm going to make them up because they didn't want me to say because I talked to them about this. And they know, the people that I'm talking about know who they are and they know about this video. So, let's just get started with no cuts, no edits, because I don't know how to edit. Well, except for my other videos. Those videos I can edit. But today this is going to be a relationship slash no edits, no cuts. So yeah, um, my whole history started from fourth grade. Fourth grade, we, I started dating this one person. We were friends for a little while and then... Yeah, his name was Jordan. Um, we had to break up because he left to his country for, over the summer, and so that made us break up. And then we kept going on and off sometimes, but, but that's not my point. And then... But he was a fun person to hang out with, and um, I really didn't care how how they acted around me. But now I actually do. But and then so the next year in fifth grade, I dated. Okay, this is going to be honest. I actually dated his friend the next year in fifth grade. And so, yeah, his name was... Stefan. Stefan. So, yeah. He was also pretty fun to hang out with. can't edit out the cars I can't edit out the cars and so yeah I know that Stefan and Jordan were friends and all but now I just realized that that was a mistake well half of it was a mistake and yeah so let's just move on to the next year sixth grade I continued dating Stefan for two months. No, not two months. A month. I broke up with him. And then... I started dating this boy named Christian. Me and Christian lasted longer than any other I any other relationship I had even now it lasted for six months six months he's the only person that actually bought me gifts 
out of nowhere. I didn't need any, but he still bought it. Like for Valentine's Day, he asked me what I wanted. I told him nothing, and he still gave me something. So that's what I appreciate, and yeah. So then after that, I went back to Stefan. Dated for two weeks. Broke up with him. And then went to this kid named Justin. Then I broke up with him and went back to Stefan. All of them were really fun to hang out with. I still hang out with them as friends and nothing else has changed except for one person. He's changed a lot. And yeah, um, and so after that year in, I, in seventh grade, in seventh grade, I have dated, let me say, Nobody. I dated nobody in seventh grade because that's when I realized that dating that young is a mistake and that we're too young, but that kind of went out of me and I thought that I can try again now, since I'm in eighth grade now, I thought I can try again, thought that everyone else is going to change. But they didn't, and I dated two people this year. And these names I actually made up because I don't, because they didn't want, I didn't have their permission to say their names, so they told me to make up a name. So I started dating Jack. Lasted for two weeks, broke up. Gave him a second chance right after that. He never changed. The one thing I can say is that he's dating someone now. They're in different classrooms. This is And so after Jack, I went to William. Lasted for two weeks. Two weeks. That was a mistake. So yeah. Dating, don't start dating until, so all I'm gonna say is that that's my whole experience in dating. And that dating in elementary school and middle school, it's not gonna last until, unless you actually have feelings and connected to each other very well and you're going to the same school for high school and yeah that's a different story if you've connected and bonded with each other for a long time that's a different story for I'm sorry for the camera that's a different story oh my god that's how I'm holding this camera that's a different story but don't date until you're actually in high school and I'm gonna just say there's actually two relationships that I actually miss having. I'm not gonna say which ones they are. I'm gonna just tell them which, I'm gonna message them which ones I actually miss. And so yeah, just take my word. Do not start dating until you're in high school. That's all I have to say.